So how do we know if a number is divisible by two or three or five or six or nine or 10? Well, let's start with two first. So the way that you know if a number is divisible by two is if that last digit of the number is even. So an even number is like zero, two, four, six, or eight. So say if you had the number like 72, see how that ends in a two? That means that the whole number 72 can be divided in half. How about for three? How do you know if a number is divisible by three? Well, what you wanna do is take another, a number like 72. You add up the digits, so this would be like seven plus two equals nine. If the sum of the digits is divisible by three, which in this case you can see that nine divided by three, that works out perfectly to a round number, right, to an integer, then that means that the whole number is gonna be divisible by three. The same rule applies for, for nine. So for example, if I had 72 again, we can see seven plus two equals nine. If that sum of the digits is divisible by nine and you get an in integer, then you know that the whole number, 72, is divisible by nine. So the rule for three and nine is very similar, okay? Meaning that if the sum of the digits is divisible by three, the number is divisible by three. If the sum of the digits is divisible by nine, the number is divisible by nine. We'll do some examples so you can see how these work. So for five now, what you wanna do is you wanna look at the number. If the last digit of the number is a zero or a five, then that means the number is divisible by five. For six, it has to be divisible by two and three in order for it to be divisible by six. For 10, the, digit has, uh, the number has to end in a zero for that last digit. Okay, so for example, 800 is divisible by 10 because the last digit is a zero. So see if you can do these four examples now, 315, 750, 158, and 189. Let's start with 315. Is it divisible by two? Well, it doesn't end in an even number, a zero, two, four, six, or eight, so it's not divisible by two. How about for three? Let's add up these digits. Three plus one is four, plus five is nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes, so that means 315 is divisible by three. Is nine divisible by nine? Yes, so that means 315 is divisible by nine. Okay, how about for five? Does it end in a zero and a five? Yes, so that means it's divisible by five. Is it divisible by six? Well, it has to be divisible by two and three to be divisible by six, so it's not uh, divisible by six. How about for 10? Does it end in a zero? No, so it's not divisible by 10. Okay, let's go to the next one, 750. Is it divisible by two? Yes, because it's an even number. It adds, uh, ends in an even digit, zero, two, four, six, or eight. Is it divisible by three? Well, seven plus five is 12 plus zero is 12. Is 12 divisible by three? Yes, so the number is divisible by three. Is 12 divisible by nine? No, so that means that 750 is not divisible by nine. Does it uh, end in a zero or a five? Yes, so that means it's divisible by five. Matter of fact, it ends in a zero, so that means it's divisible by 10. Is it divisible by six? Well, it is divisible by two and three, so that means that the number is divisible by six, and you've got it. How about for 158? Well, is it divisible by two? It looks like it ends in an even number, so that's divisible by two. Is it divisible by three? Well, let's see, one plus five is six, plus eight is 14. Is 14 divisible by three? No. Is 14 divisible by nine? No, so it means that the number is not divisible by three or nine. How about for five? Well, it doesn't end in a zero or five, so it's not divisible by five. Is it divisible by six? Well, it's not divisible by two and three, so it's not divisible by six. Does it end in a zero? No, so it's not divisible by 10. So it's just divisible by two, this one. And the last example, 189, is it divisible by two? No, because it doesn't end in an even number. Is it divisible by three? Well, it looks like that the digits add up to 18. So that means that it is divisible by three. 18 is also divisible by nine. So that means that the number is divisible by nine. Does it end in a zero or a five? No, so that means it's not divisible by five. Is it divisible by six? Well, it's not divisible by two and three, so it's not divisible by six. And does it end in a zero? No, so it's not divisible by 10. So in this case, it's just gonna be three and nine. If you wanna see more pre-algebra topics, uh, follow me over to that video right there. It's a giant pre-algebra review where we go into more pre-algebra topics. I'll see you over in that video.